everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be doing a bling line hard gel set i've got my colors here ready i've also got these new winter leaves from nail sugar they're amazing um we're going to be doing the set on my flexi hand from the flexi hand australia and um, because i'm doing gel gel doesn't tend to like to stick to a shiny surface so i always like to buff my nails anyway and um, obviously if you're doing a real human being you're going to have to prep the nails and everything as well i'm just going to make sure that the nails are all the same length before i begin i don't worry too much about the pinky because i like the pinky a little bit shorter <laughs> so once you've prepped your nails um dehydrated and primed you're going to have to come in with some super bond so this super bond is needs to be worked into the nail you need to get into all those grooves and ridges and bumps and whatever and you need to use a very very small amount of product you have to use so little product that when you are running the brush along the nail it feels like the brush is pulling see what i mean because you've got not a lot of product so in a minute I am going to show also bling line is a professional uh a professional brand so you do need to be qualified to purchase it unfortunately but it's not really unfortunate it's just yeah oh look here we go look you see how little product is on there it just looks damp it doesn't look saturated so pop that in the lamp there are good reasons why products are professionals only um which i'm not going to go into in this video but um it's always good to yeah anyway i'm gonna shut up right in today's video i'm using the fiber gel so in this fiber gel there are lots of very tiny little fibers and this is really good for those people who need a little bit of extra strength so because my cool one step gel is running low um, and actually i haven't used the fiber gel yet um my actually my thumb the night before i done this video um, I done my thumb with the fiber gel and that's the first time I used it so I thought I'd use it in a in a full set and um what I'm doing here is I'm applying a very thin layer so this is just going to be so like if you're doing a if you before I put the color down I put a thin layer of the cool one step gel or the fiber gel just so that if say for instance um this is a good reason to do it is because if your client comes back for and they want like a completely new set then you have this this clear layer to file down to also i don't know actually if bling line does i know acrylic sometimes has a habit of staining the nail um but i'm not sure if bling line does but it doesn't ever hurt anyway to put a clear layer down and right the colors i'm using are ella 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 a a a under my umbrella ella Ella, shut up. Okay, um, this is such a beautiful pink, and I've got Isla, which is the most gorgeous, shimmery white. Oh, look at that. Actually, it's metallic. It's a metallic white. Nats, get it right. I really like this one anyway, and it's really nice for sort of like wintry nails. So we're gonna go with that one. And I have got lava. This is a gorgeous silver. Oh hey, lava. Mm-mm. It's weird you'd think it was like a, a red or a, a um i don't know i would I, it's funny molten, i don't know no i'd call it something like mercury no 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 i don't know anyway shut up you don't name these names nats you don't name these names you don't name these products and there's good reason you don't name products because you'd probably call them something silly <laughs> like mercury no i'm kidding right carry on right i'm gonna go in with the color now so on the ring finger and the uh what's this one the middle finger i'm applying a layer of isla now don't worry that the if it looks patchy um or anything because we are going to go in with two coats and it's always best to apply apply thin coats than thick coats so this is <coughs> oh a little tickle in my throat then <coughs> this is ella so we are going to apply her to the index finger again don't worry if it looks patchy because the second coat will sort that out and then on the pinky we're going to go in with lava this is a really gorgeous silver there we go so those are going to get cured in the lamp for 60 seconds 
All these Bling Line products are available from the Little Nail Shop, and you can get 10% off using my code NATMUG10. All the all the like websites and everything in the description um, and the discount codes will be in the description box below anyway. So if you miss them on the screen, they will be below. Okay, so we're going in with the second coat now. Um, this is our second coat of Ella. I think because I start off at the cuticle area, the product gets really thin there. So I'm just gonna just gonna pop a little bit more on there. And then we're gonna go in with Isla again on the middle finger. I am gonna um I'm not gonna do the ring finger just yet. Or do I? I can't remember which way around I do it. It's difficult. With these metallic colours, I like the lines to be... I like the lines to go straight down. I don't like there to be any... Because you can... You could make, like... You could make different patterns. I'll have to do a video, actually. Right, so I think I've cured those. I'm pretty sure I cured those. Now I'm going in with the ring finger because I'm going to do a bit of a marble on this one. So I'm going in with Isla. But I'm not going to cure it. And then into that uncured Isla gel, the metallic, I'm going to put some Ella. And then I'm going to sort of work it through. Don't pick up too much because you don't want the nail to be... You don't want to have masses of product on the nail. Okay, and then I'm going to take some lava, but I'm picking this up with my detailer brush because I literally only want a smidge of this. And I'm kind of going to work it through the marble where I want it. And then I'm going to put a little bit at the top. And then I'm going to cure it in the lamp because I am happy with that. It looks actually, I really like that marble. I love gel polish marbles. Right, now I've got the winter leaves. These are absolutely beautiful. These uh, were released yesterday from Now Sugar, along with the most amazing imperial purple, it's called. And then you've got Sugar Plum, which is a pinky purple. And there's one called Kaleidoscope, which has got so many super good fun colours in it. It'll be great for New Year's nails. So go and check out Now Sugar's website because there's some new goodies on there. And don't forget, if you place an order, use code NATMUG10 and you can save 10%. Right, on this nail, I've put a thin layer of the fibre gel. And into that fibre gel that has not been cured, I'm placing some of these leaves. Now, I want this nail to be covered in leaves. I want them everywhere. I, I want as little gap between them as possible. So I'm going to actually do two coats. And right, these leaves, I mean, if you wanted to, you could pick out the ones that you wanted. There's some like, there's some pearly ones. There is some metallic, pinky, like rose gold ones. And there are some holographic silver ones. But all together, like when you put them all together, you just get the most amazing... It's just such... Like the tones in them are absolutely beautiful. I love them. So once I'm happy with that first layer, there are some gaps there, but don't worry, we're going to go in with a second coat. So I've cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm going in with a very thin layer of the fibre gel because remember you don't want to make the nails bulky. And then I'm just going to fill in some of the gaps with some of the leaves like where there are, there might be, you know, just add, add a few more. And it was really tricky because they kept wanting to stick to my brush <laughs> and not the nail. I'm going to put one more down there as well because I just and hang on, get off and then I'm going to put one more down the bottom as well because there was a gap there here and here and then once I'm happy with that I will pop it into the lamp it can be a little bit fiddly but do persevere because this nail I thought was absolutely gorgeous in fact, this whole set was one of my favourite sets that I've done for a long time. So pop it into the lamp to cure. Then I've got um, Ethereal Glitter. This is stunning. This is from Now Sugar. This is one of the Christmas releases. I'm going to go over the pinky with a little bit of fibre gel. And I'm going to pick up some of that 
ethereal glitter and I'm not going to completely cover the nail with this I'm just going to pick up a little bit and I'm just going to place that onto this silver nail here not too much just enough and it kind of gives it a kind of icy feel it's I love it and then I'm going to place two leaves on as well because we kind of I don't know I, I kind of yeah, I just felt like we needed to add some more leaves somewhere on the set. So I thought we'll do, do it on the pinky. Right, pop that in the lamp to cure. Then I tried to show, show you me encapsulating, but I was off the screen. But I thought I'd keep it in anyway, because you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going in with a thin layer. Again, I'm using the fiber gel. Then I pick up a bigger bead. And I start at the cuticle area. Um, pillow the product back. And then I work it backwards and forwards across the nail. And then I do hold it upside down just to make sure the product is in the right place where I want it. And again, you want to make sure that you've got enough product on your sides. You don't want the sides to have no product. Okay, so I've done all of the nails. And I'm going to use the Bling Line Cleanser and the Bling Line Wipe. And we're going to remove that tacky layer. But you can already see what kind of look we're going to get with these nails. Oh, I love, I love gel so much. The clarity of gel is just that much more... It's just so much that you can't get with acrylic. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right, so I filed and buffed them. And I'm going to use the Bling Line Wet Finish. So this is a... This is a... Um, uh, what's the word? It's a hard gel top coat. And it's not a soak off one. And it has that violety blue tint to stop any... Um, it kind of like counteracts any yellowing that you might get like if you've done a French or something so that's why it's kind of that color but it shouldn't matter too much on our nails because we haven't really used you know anyway it doesn't matter it won't cure with a blue tinge it will cure clear if you see what I mean you won't really like now I'm putting it on the nail you can't see that it's that sort of violety color you see you see you know what I mean okay anywho so I'm using my brush to put this onto the nails don't they look amazing <laughs> you wait till we do the, the um wait till we do the leaf nail oh happy days here we go oh it's look i love 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 those leaves so much right now they're like my new favorite thing i was gonna do a wintry butterfly set and then I was like, well, butterflies aren't really wintry. You never really see butterflies in the winter. And then Karen was like, girls, I've got some new glitters, some new releases. And I was like, what? And then, then like literally on my doorstep, like that same day, were these like these leaves. She's so cheeky. She'd like posted them and not told us. And I was like, oh, stop it. So I was like, do you know what? I've got to use these. There we go. Oops. I love Ella. She's so pretty. Uh, right, pop those in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, my days. I love this set so much. I've not even finished it and I love it. But I'm using the Bling Line White 3D Gel. This is like a like an embossing gel. And I've got the Nail Sugar Natalie Mugridge Detailer Brush. Look at those crystals in the handle. And that gorgeous fine bristle end. Mm, very nice. <laughs> Right, the wet finish does have a tacky layer, so you're going to need to wipe it off using your bling line cleanser. Now, the more you, the more you wipe, the better, because it gets the really, really nice shiny nail, and you kind of want to hear a squeak like. <laughs> that's when you know, oh, you're going to have a nice shine. There we go. Oh, it just, I just love a nice glossy nail, don't you? There we go. Right, now we're going to take that gel. Oh, it just looks so nice. I love it. I literally... Oh, so, mm. Right, so this has got like a kind of... It's it's not... It's a kind of... It's a thickish consistency. But it's good for doing... Like, obviously, that's... It's a 3D... It's, you know, it's... It's a whole reason for being is to kind of create 3D finishes on the nail like you can do 3d swirls and stuff i am creating some little again there could be yeah no i think these ones are stars because i only do four uh, like two little like lines like crosses so these ones can be more stars 
that's literally all I'm doing on that now. And then on the, no, oh no, okay. Oh, I can't forget, I only done these yesterday. In fact, they are sitting here next to me on my flexi hand. <laughs> I'm such a titty. So again, yeah, like, this is, I feel like, oh, I needed to burp then, so sorry. Um, yeah, I feel like when you do like the diagonal lines through the cross that you've already done, it kind of definitely gives it more of a snowflakey vibe than a starry vibe, especially if they're kind of little like that. On this pinky nail, I'm going to do a snowflake and it's going to be part on and part off the nail. And again, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I kind of done it right on a really awkward, really awkward space. Um, so yeah, keeping it simple, just add in two little lines. Oops, made a little bit of a mess there. And then on those diagonal ones, I'm going to put some dots there. And I'm going to do the same on all four of the diagonal arms. I can just squeeze, squeeze two on the end here. And then I'm going to do some lines again, but I'm only going to do one set of lines, not two sets. There we go. And then I'm going to do a little snowflake type thing here. I really love this kind of 3D gel. I really, I think it's brilliant. And then some little bits of snow. And then once I've done, I will pop it in the lamp to cure for a full 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna show you the finished set. <gasps> oh my days. I absolutely love these. Do you know what? They don't even need crystals. I just really like them. Anyway. If you did like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Please subscribe. And I'm gonna I, look, I put them, I even put them on my like little Christmassy thing here. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you beautiful lot in the next one with the brand new video. Bye!